For today's DIY project, we're crafting with a canvas. Any canvas will do because we're going to be covering it with foam board. And this is the foam board from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to peel back um, the layer from one side of that foam board. And my canvas measures 15 and 3 quarters by 31 and a half inches. Okay, so it's a rectangular canvas. The foam board measures 29 and 3 quarters. So I'm cutting down my canvas to 14 inches. That way I'll have one and a half inch going vertically and one and a half inch going horizontally. Before I start my design, I'll take my canvas outside and I'll use my Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint and I'll just spray around the sides, just on the four sides that we'll be showing, okay? Now the next step is the most crucial. I'm going to be using my yardstick and I'm just tracing lines. I'm starting from one end going to the opposite end with my ruler and I'm just using my pencil to trace the line and I'm going over that line maybe twice or three times just to make sure that I have a good indentation um, so my design can come through. Okay so I'm just trying to place my ruler as close as possible to that first end and the spacing for the other end will be about quarter inch. Okay, so just watch as I'm doing this. So basically we're making a sunburst design. You could use hot glue if you'd like, but I just think that's too much effort and it's not as neat. The lines are not as neat. You cannot really get straight lines from hot glue. So I'm going to continue to do this design on the other side until my foam board is complete. And I'm just going over my design one last time to make sure that they're deep enough um, so they will show through when I'm done. And this is how we're looking. Now I'm just going to cut three inches off so I can complete my design. I'm just going to use my pencil to mark three inches from each end. And that's the farther end from where we started. Okay, so I'm just going to join the lines and use my X-Acto knife to cut off that piece. My next step is to use my sanding block. I'm using a 60 grit sanding block and I'm just smoothing the edges from my foam board. Okay, just to make it nice and neat and here they are when I was done. Now I'll use my tacky glue and I'm just gonna go over the area with my tacky glue. So I'm just going over everything with my tacky glue, just one light layer. I'm not sure if this was an extra step that could have been avoided but I did it anyway and I was left with a few bubbles between my lines so I just used the back of a knife to break the bubbles. Now I'll be using my paint and um, for my paint I'm using this Glidden flat white just very light layers and I'm gonna allow it to dry with one layer and then I'll add my second layer. And with my second layer I'm using extra fine glitter on top. You probably won't be able to see this much. It's very subtle unless the light is hitting it. So I placed them to dry. Everything was dry. My canvas was dry and my foam board was dry. So I have this gold contact paper that um, I'll be using to add a little bit of glam to my design. I cut out the pieces that I needed one and three quarter inches. Um, I cut about two inches so the areas could be covered. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just placing my two pieces of foam board on my canvas and I'm just marking out where I want them to be. And between the foam board, that's where I'll be putting my gold contact paper. For my adhesive, I'm using the Gorilla Spray Glue. And this contact paper wrinkles very easily. 
Plus, I'm using an old canvas with old design on top, so it's really showing through. So I'm also using my Gorilla Spray Adhesive to place my foam board on top of my canvas. I'm going to be using these dowels, they're half inch um, dowels, and I'm going to be using three total, and I'm just placing them in the area where I want them, and I'm using my pencil to mark them. And I cut the pieces and use my same black spray paint, and I spray paint them. And to attach my dowels, I'm just using my hot glue and then placing the ones on the shorter side first and then I'll place the two in the center. So I'm just placing my dowels down on the corners and this just ties the whole design together. I think it looks marvelous with the color choices, the black and the white and just the pop of gold. So I'm placing my last two pieces of dowels and I'm pushing them right up against that foam board so it can hide the seams. And if you want to recreate this project, I suggest you use clean canvas so you can um, spray paint your gold area. Just spray paint it reflective gold and you should be good to go. So here's a completed look. I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this week's project. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate that. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box and it will take you straight to the video. All right. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.